Hi kids, welcome to day 103 of Storytime with Anne. The title of our story today is The Tummy Ache. Shall we pray? Gracious loving Father in heaven, dear God, we would like to thank you for this beautiful day. We would like to thank you for being with us throughout the day. May you bless us and help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mommy! Mommy! shouted Maria. It was late at night as Maria called from her bed. My tummy hurts. Mother came into her bedroom and turned on the light. Where do you hurt? asked Mother. She felt her head. Oh dear, you have a fever too. Mother felt Maria's tummy. When she pushed on it, she howled out loud. I'm going to get dressed and take you to the clinic. Maria cried on her way to the doctor. Her head seemed to swim. And whenever mommy hit a bump, she thought she would throw up. Finally, they reached the doctor's clinic. Then she did throw up. The nurse heard mommy's description and took Maria back to the examining room. The doctor took some blood out of her arm. Maria tried hard not to cry, but it was very scary. Mommy held her hand the whole time. The doctor looked very serious. I'm afraid Maria has got appendictus. She'll have to have her appendix taken out right away. It might break open and then she could get much worse. She might even die. I've called the hospital and they will be waiting for you. Mommy carried Maria out to the car for the two-block trip to the hospital. They went into the emergency room. A man dressed in green met them and had mother put Maria on a bed with wheels. Maria tightened her hold around mommy's neck. I'm afraid, mommy. Don't go away. Mommy smiled at her. You don't need to be afraid. Remember what Jesus said? I will give my angels charge over you to keep you safe. Your angel is right here. Part of you is sick and the doctors need to fix it. You won't feel anything because they will give you medicine so you will sleep. When you wake up, it will be all over and we can go home soon. Don't be afraid. Let's have a prayer before you go with the doctor. Maria let go and folded her hands and closed her eyes. Dear Jesus, please help the doctors make Maria well again. Don't let her be too scared and don't let it hurt too much. Help her to be very brave. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Mommy kissed Maria and the man wheeled the bed away. The next morning, when Maria woke up, Mommy was waiting by the bed with her teddy bear and a new puzzle. How do you feel? asked Mommy. Maria thought for a minute. I'm thirsty. My tummy doesn't hurt as bad. Doctor said we can take you home later this afternoon. Here's a drink of water. Maria looked down at the bandage on her stomach. It looked so big it frightened her. Do I have a big hole in my stomach? She whispered. No, you don't. The doctor took out the spoiled appendix and sewed you back up. We'll go to Dr. Hatton to have the stitches removed end of next week. Later that day, Maria and mother went home. Mother put Maria to bed and told her to take a little nap while she made supper. She closed her eyes, but couldn't quite seem to get to sleep. She wondered what the stitches looked like. She wondered if she lifted the edge of the bandage, if she could see them. Just as she was about to try, mother came back in. I thought you might like some apple juice, she smiled. It's going to be hard to stay in, de in bed for a few days, so I thought you might like to watch a nature video. I've asked your sister to bring a couple of them home from school. Maria drank her juice. 
Mother studied her for a minute. What's the matter? Would it feel good if I rubbed your back? It only hurts a little. But when I sit up, I get dizzy. That will go away soon. It's always like that after an operation. Mother, why did my appendix spoil? What do you mean? I eat good food, I sleep and drink water and everything. So why did my appendix spoil? Mother thought for a minute. You did nothing wrong. If that's what bother, what's bothering you. Good health habits will help you stay well and help keep you from getting sick. But sometimes things just happen because of sin. There isn't anything you can do about it except take care of yourself and give your life to Jesus. He gives strength to resist disease and be happy. How long will it be before I'm all better? By Sabbath, you should be able to get up and out of bed. That's two days. You won't be well enough to go to church this week, but you will be next week. I'll call your teacher and tell her. Anything she wants to send home for you, your sister can bring. In three weeks, you won't even know that you had been sick, except that you have a little scar where the bad appendix was taken out. Will it always be there? Yes, it will fade a little as time passes, but it will still be there. Maria thought for a minute. Why didn't Jesus stop my tummy from hurting? But he did, answered mother. Jesus helped the doctor know how to make you better. And he made your body so it can fix itself. They are little white blood cells working hard to kill any germs that might have gotten into the wound. There are other cells whose job is to mend the skin and muscles. And more red blood cells are being made in your bones. Jesus made your whole body in such a wonderful way that it can repair itself. Sometimes it needs help, like when the doctor helped you by taking away the spoiled appendix. But most of the time, your body works really well. That's why it's important to take good care of it by eating good food and getting exercise and resting and drinking lots of water. If my body is doing all that work, it's probably getting sleepy, said Maria. I think I can take my nap now. Good. When your sister comes back, you two can finish watching the video while I finish making supper. Mother smiled and pulled the drapes shut. If you need anything, just call me. I'll leave your door open. Okay, mommy. Have a good sleep, Maria. And that's the end of our story. We all must take good care of our bodies. Our verse for today is 1 Corinthians chapter 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Do you not know that your bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. Do you not know that your bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. Our song is going to come from Education Station. <laughs> healthy body if you want to have a happy healthy body you need to make happy healthy choices i'm here i'm me i'm the best me i can be i'm the only me i'll ever get to be there's just one of me you're here you're you and you are shining through you're the best you and there's only one of you so I'm taking care of me by eating healthy things. That's how I take care of me. And you're taking care of you. You're eating healthy too. That's how you take care of you. And I'm taking care of me by keeping myself clean. 
Cause that's how I take care of me And you're taking care of you You keep yourself clean too That's how you take care of you I'm here, I'm me I'm the best me I can be I'm the only me I'll ever get to be You're here, you're you And you are shining through You're the best you and there's only one of you So I'm taking care of me By keeping my teeth clean That's how I take care of me And you're taking care That's how you take care of you And I'm taking care of me By making sure I sleep That's how I take care of me And you're taking care of you You're getting your sleep too That's how you take care of you Fruit and vegetables Yum, yum, yum Scrub, 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 I smell good. Scrub, 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 I smell good. Brush, 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 my teeth shine. Brush, 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 my teeth shine. Sleep, rest. Oh. Sleep, rest. Oh. I'm here, I'm me, I'm the best me I can be. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and we'll see you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to Bible Poetry Time with Jiko. Today our poem is Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God, hear my prayer. From far off I can call in despair. You're my defense and refuge from every problem, small or huge. I long to dwell, O oh Lord, with you. Your faithfulness and love are true. I'll give all I've promised to you. I'll sing your praise my whole life through. This is the end of our poem today. Thank you for listening. And that, kids, brings us to the end of today's program. Our prayer focus for today is to thank God for giving his angels charge over our lives to keep us safe because we would have been hurt or so many bad things would have happened to us if they were not in charge of our lives and they were not there. Shall we pray? Good gracious loving Father in heaven, dear God, we would like to thank you for this day. Father in heaven, we ask and pray that you be with us. You help us to take good care of our bodies. Gracious Father in heaven, we ask that you help us to know how to eat right, to always drink water and exercise to always take care of our bodies because they belong to you. Dear Father, we would like to thank you for making our bodies in such a special way that they can take care of us and that they can heal themselves wherever possible. Lord, we want to thank you for the brains that you gave the doctors and the knowledge to know when what to use when we are sick and how to help us. Gracious Father, we want to thank you for giving your angels charge over us because without them, we would have been in so much trouble and we would have been so lost. Help us to always listen to what they tell us to do 
because we know they will always lead us in your direction. Thank you, dear Father, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So from me and Auntie Jiko, it's bye until tomorrow. <laughs>